Oliver Behrman has suddenly become the new wonder kid of Formula 1. Within a few crazy hours, the Ferrari school British teenager went from competing in Formula 2 to becoming the third youngest point scorer in the sport. But who exactly is Oliver Behrman? What might the future hold for him? After the season's opener in Bahrain, the major talking point within the F1 community was about how the rest of the field were catching up with Red Bull. And of course, there is the controversy around Christian Horner, which seems to be unending, and the many problems that have befallen Alpine. But everything changed less than 24 hours before the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, when news broke that Oliver Behrman would replace Carlos Sainz, who was diagnosed with appendicitis. The next couple of hours would prove to be life-changing for the Chelmsford-born racer, who went quickly from driving driving an F2 to representing arguably Formula 1's most iconic team. Even before he took to track, this announcement was a huge achievement for Behrman, but it's worth noting that this wasn't his first experience of driving a Formula 1 car. His first taste of F1 machinery came back in October 2023, when he participated in a private testing event organised by Ferrari. That same month, he drove for Haas in two practice sessions in Mexico, outpacing four other rookies who participated in the event. More impressive Possibly, Behrman's lap time of 1 minute 21 seconds was ranked 15th on the timesheet, about three tenths slower than F1 racer Nico Hülkenberg. One month later, the young Brit was back in the Haas F1 car again, this time at a post-racing testing event in Abu Dhabi, and he looked very assured. For Behrman, these opportunities showed the kind of faith that the Haas team had in him. But more importantly, it was a testament to his skills and his stellar achievements so far in his junior racing career. Born on the 8th of May 2005, Oliver Behrman officially began racing in 2013 at the age of 8. Like most F1 drivers, he started with karting, participating in the Trent Valley Kart Club Championship. Next up for Behrman was the Super 1 National Championships, where he proved to be a capable hand behind the wheel in the junior class in 2016 and 2017. To top that off, young Behrman won the 2017 Kart Masters British Grand Prix, and by the time he reached the pinnacle of karting in 2019, Behrman had become a more decisive racer. He won the IAMI International Final, the IAMI Euro Series, and the IAMI Winter Cup all in the span of a year. This hat-trick of title wins would set the stage for his single-seater racing debut in 2020, and despite the disruptions caused by the pandemic, Behrman finished 10th in the Italian F4 Championship and 7th in the German F4 Championship. It was a modest finish for a 15-year-old who was just starting out his single-seater racing career. But given his achievements in karting, he knew he had the potential to do better. So going into the 2021 season, Behrman joined the Van Amsfort racing team and re-entered both the German and Italian F4 championships. The teenager started the Italian series with a third-place finish in the opening race. Then he claimed a few pole positions in the subsequent races before going on a run of seven consecutive victories to clinch the Italian F4 Championship in the penultimate race of the season. Behrman also added the F4 German Championship to his laurels in 2021, making him the first driver to win two successive F4 titles in a single year. By now, he had caught the eye of Ferrari scouts, who moved quickly to sign him up for the Ferrari Driver Academy program. Going into the 2022 F3 season, Behrman switched from Van Amsfort Racing to Prema, and he hit the ground running. He won his first race in F3, or so he thought. For a fact, Behrman took the chequered flag in P1, but he was demoted to second after he was penalised for breaching track limits multiple times. Penalties and needless crashes became a regular theme in Behrman's debut F3 campaign, and the British racer would come to regret it. When the points were tallied after the last race, he finished in third position, just seven points behind Victor Martins, who won the series. Despite the disappointment, the young racer said he was happy with the campaign he had. Evidently, the Prema Racing team were satisfied with his performance as well, and having seen what he was capable of doing on the tracks, they moved him up to F2. Now, in his debut F2 season, Behrman scored four victories, five podiums and two poles. However, his total tally of 130 points was only good enough for sixth position in the driver's standings. It wasn't a spectacular season, but the decision makers of the Premier Racing team were more than happy to keep him in the team going into the 2024 F2 season. In January, Ferrari and Haas listed Oliver Behrman as a reserve driver. But the young Brit could never have foreseen getting a call up from either of these teams in the second race of the season. However, everything changed when it was announced on the morning of qualifying that Carlos Sainz would undergo surgery for appendicitis. With less than 24 hours to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, the Scuderia Ferrari team needed to come up with a viable replacement. And after some quick deliberations, Oliver Behrman was called up. 
It was an interesting decision because Ferrari had the option of calling up Robert Schwartzman or Antonio Giovinazzi, who are two experienced drivers on their reserve list, but they opted for an unprepared and untested Oliver Behrman. It was perhaps the shortest notice ever given to a Formula 1 driver on their debut. In fact, the day before his call-up, the British teenager had claimed the pole position in F2 qualifying and had absolutely no idea that he would be competing with multiple world champions like Hamilton, Verstappen and Fernando Alonso a couple of hours later. To make things even more intense, he only got one hour of track time in FP3 to fuel the SF24 out before qualifying. But despite the rushed timeline, Behrman was keen to make his mark. In qualifying, Behrman put up an impressive performance that very nearly knocked out seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton from Q2. On race day, the Chelmsford-born racer started in 11th. And although he had a good car, racing against established drivers on a challenging track like the Jeddah Corniche circuit was never going to be easy. Behrman needed to bring his A-game to the race, and he did just that. He showed great calmness behind the wheels that many 18-year-olds can only dream of. Six laps into the race, Lance Stroll crashed into the barrier, forcing the safety car onto the track. But as most drivers headed into the pit lane, Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton and a few other drivers decided to stay out on the track. Not Oliver Behrman though. The debutante went straight into the pit and as soon as the race restarted, he dived straight up through the inside of Yuki Tsunoda into P11. Then on lap 14, he throttled past Zhou Guan Yu into 10th position and in lap 21, the rookie driver moved up to 9th and by the time Norris and Hamilton decided decided to pit, he coasted straight into 7. Despite having the two veterans on his tail for over 10 laps, the young racer held on to cross the finish line in P7. It was an unbelievable achievement for the young debutante. At 18 years old and 10 months and one day old, Oliver Behrman became the third youngest driver to feature in an F1 race and the third youngest point scorer in the history of the sport. He's also the first driver to make his F1 debut for the Scuderia Ferrari team since Arturo Merzario in 1970. In addition, Behrman's achievement in Saudi Arabia makes him the first British driver to race for Ferrari since Nigel Mansell in 1990. Before now, it looked like Hamilton would be the one to break that record when he makes his debut for Ferrari in 2025, but Oliver Behrman beat the seven-time world champion to it. Deservedly, he won the Driver of the Day award and got lots of plaudits for his outstanding debut. These include applause and thumbs up from Lewis Hamilton mid-race, a bear hug from his dad, and some nice words from Damon Hill, Max Verstappen, and Charles Leclerc. Right now, Oliver Behrman is expected to return to F2. However, he could yet become a full-time F1 driver as early as next season. Perhaps not at Ferrari, because Hamilton and Leclerc have locked that down already, but with that debut performance, a lot of teams will have their eyes on him, especially a team like Haas, which is already affiliated to with Ferrari's driver program. When these types of opportunities present themselves for up-and-coming drivers, the course of a career can be changed within one weekend, and it seems like Oli Behrman may have done just that for his own. With such an exciting and successful F1 debut, all signs point to an exciting F1 career ahead for this promising next generation driver.